Hi guys, I keep hearing people complain about the high cost of living nowadays and how it's so expensive and it's so hard to get ahead and yet most of the people that I talk to, um, they go to either Starbucks or Tim Hortons every freaking day for a coffee. Sometimes uh, sometimes two or three times a day and I, I can't believe that this even needs to be a life hack but I'm gonna tell you guys something you don't actually have to pay two to five dollars for a coffee you can make it at home yourself really easily for super cheap and I know a lot of people say oh but then I have to make a whole pot of coffee and it's so wasteful well that's a lame cop-out and it's not true there are things called single cup coffee makers and I don't mean those ridiculously expensive wasteful Tassimo things that you have to use the pods for and, and all that stuff like yeah sure it can make you a fancy coffee but it's uh, awfully expensive and apparently it's not all that uh, sanitary either and of course the garbage adds up and impacts the environment so with a little bit of foresight and some good shopping you can make yourself some coffee for very very cheap and if you're like me and you like something a little bit fancy, except not really fancy, I personally like to have a mocha with a little bit of cinnamon in it. And it's really quick and easy to make and I'm going to show you how. Anyway, this particular coffee maker, this one was a hand-me-down from about 20 years ago um, and it's still going strong, there's been nothing wrong with it, no working parts to replace, uh, but if you were not lucky enough to get a hand-me-down, you can get a brand new one for anywhere between 10 and $30 depending on how fancy you want it to be. And really all it has to do is heat up some water and percolate it, so it really doesn't need to be all that fancy. This one has three basic parts, it's got the main base, the holder thing, and the filter. I'm not going to explain how they work because I'm pretty sure you can figure it out if you figured out how to use YouTube. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, for this particular model um, and for how I like to make my coffee, I prefer to have two scoops and I just picked the cheapest brand of coffee that I could find at the supermarket because that was logical. It's just some cheap hot chocolate. This happens to be Tim Hortons brand but that's what was cheapest at the time and a great big thing of cinnamon. So the way that I like to make it is I like to shake some cinnamon first into the percolator. That way it helps kind of give it that cinnamon flavor without the grindy cinnamon texture. And then I just take my two basic scoops of coffee and pour it in. Or rather I should say dump it in. Super, super fancy here. I'm totally blocking the light. There we go. That was a time investment of approximately 25 seconds. And now I just slide this bad boy back into the holder. Oh, I've gotten it backwards because I'm a champ. There we go. And then all you do is you lift this part up and you pour in the desired amount of fluid, which in my case I just fill up the cup with cold water and pour it in and I press the button. And there you have it. In less than the time that it took me to uh, have a quick pee and come back. Cup of coffee. And then I added some hot chocolate into it and I stirred it up myself, which took approximately mm, 10 seconds. And uh, I've also heard some people say, well, that doesn't work for my lifestyle because I'm always on the go and I need to have, need to have it in a travel mug. It's like, well, then you can pour it into a travel mug and rinse your cup out. Like, it's not really a big deal. So there you have it. That'll knock like, depending on your ho or your coffee habit, that'll knock between one and two hundred dollars a month off of your monthly bills. So uh, that's that's a couple nights out right there, or you know, uh, some groceries paid for, or perhaps student loans caught up on, or whatever. And uh, yeah, so there's an obvious life hack for you. You are welcome. <laughs> and one more addition to the life hack thing. Um, I have a kid who loves the taste of coffee, but I obviously don't really want her being all jacked up on caffeine. So what I do is I have discovered that you can run uh, a half cup of coffee through the grounds a second time and you get some of the dark color, but only a little bit of the flavor and only a very small amount of the caffeine. And then I put a little bit of hot chocolate in there and I water the rest down and I tell her it's her own special coffee. Is that your own special coffee cup? Yes, but yeah. don't too touch it because it's really hot. Yeah, is it best to wait till your hot chocolate has cooled off before you drink it? Yes. That's right. It will be cooled off chocolate. That's right. <laughs> Can you give me a big smile and say cheese? Cheese. Good girl.